Hello, and welcome to the Lalonde Property Group YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into an important topic for anyone buying a home in British Columbia, the home buyer rescission period, or what's often called the cooling off period. If you're thinking about buying a home in BC, you'll definitely want to know how this rescission period works. In this video, we'll walk you through what the buyer rescission period is, when it came into effect, and how it impacts residential real estate transactions. Whether you're a first time home buyer or just looking to learn more about the process, this information can be really helpful to make sure you're well prepared when making one of the biggest purchases of your life. Let's get started. The home buyer rescission period, or HBRP, came into effect on January 3rd, 2023. This was a new measure introduced by the BC government to provide home buyers with a bit of extra time to reconsider their decision after an offer is accepted. This cooling off period gives buyers up to three business days to withdraw or cancel their offer on a residential property. The idea behind this is to help protect buyers from feeling rushed or pressured into finalizing their purchase without taking the time to really think it through. It's important to remember that this is a fairly recent change in BC's real estate market and it's designed to give buyers some peace of mind during what can be a stressful process. Let's break down how the home buyer rescission period works in more detail. First, this three business day period applies only to specific types of residential properties. This includes detached houses, semi-detached houses, townhouses, condos or apartments, in duplexes or multi-unit buildings, residential strata lots, manufactured homes attached to land and cooperative interests that include a right of use or occupation of a dwelling. If you're buying one of these types of properties, the rescission period gives you a bit of breathing room after your offer has been accepted. Keep in mind, the clock doesn't start ticking until the next full business day after your offer is accepted. For example, if you place an offer on Monday afternoon, the three-day rescission period begins on Tuesday and would end on Thursday at 11.59 p.m. as long as no holidays are in between. Not all properties fall under this rule. Leased land, properties sold at auction, and court-ordered sales are excluded from this legislation. Now, what happens if you decide to cancel your offer during the rescission period? Well, the buyer is required to notify the seller in writing and pay a small rescission fee of 0.25 of the offer price. For example, on a $500,000 offer, the fee would be $1,250. This fee goes to the seller as compensation for taking their property off the market during this period. However, the buyer doesn't need to give any reason for backing out of the deal. They simply need to exercise their right within the three days. Also, if you've already placed a deposit, your real estate brokerage can deduct this fee from your deposit and return the rest. If no deposit was made, the fee must be paid directly to the seller. So that's a detailed look at the home buyer rescission period in British Columbia. It's a rule designed to protect buyers, giving you a bit of time to reconsider your decision without needing to provide any reason. It applies to specific types of properties, and if you decide to rescind your offer, you just need to notify the seller in writing and pay the rescission fee. Keep in mind, this period cannot be waived by either the buyer or the seller, and the process is straightforward, but must be followed correctly. It's important to know that the rescission period runs alongside any other conditions you may have in your offer, like a financing or inspection condition, so these timelines won't extend one another. That said, we always recommend speaking with a real estate lawyer to understand how this applies to your specific situation. Every transaction is different and having legal guidance can help you navigate the process smoothly. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helped clarify the ins and outs of the home buyer rescission period. Remember, this is not legal or financial advice, so be sure to consult a professional for your personal needs. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.